Favela, favela, vinha aqui na favela. Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, just wanted to talk to you guys again, and I just could not. How, how do I not talk to you about this uh, this stock that uh, just continues to give and give and give? Uh, first of all, my name is Brad, and uh, I am part of the TechBud Solutions team. Uh, if you're not aware of TechBud Solutions, you don't, don't know who uh, we are. Uh, I will leave a link, and it's right here at the top right hand corner uh, uh, to. Uh, Click on and kind of explore us a little bit more and, and go into, uh, you know, some of our chat groups. Uh, and depending on your style of trading, uh, you can choose uh, different uh, channels and avenues to go down to that best fit your needs. All right. So uh, continuing on with uh, this stock here that we were all talking about today in our OTC chat group um, in Discord, FRFS. How awesome has this been? Um, you know, Ended yesterday on a 3,000% gain, continued to just skyrocket right out of the gate this morning. It went all the way up to six cents, and it had this perfect dip here. If you see that, um, a lot of us were, you know, some of some people who were new to OTCs were a little bit, you know, nervous here when it started to dip down after the open and wanted to sell. And obviously, as you can see here, a lot of people uh, did sell. Uh, but one thing that I told you guys um, is that. <laughs> Uh, to put it, you know, a little nicely is that you kind of have to have the stones to hang down in here. But, you know, honestly, I just did it based off of these Bollinger Bands, you know, and I, and I explained this right around lunchtime, how it was consolidating here. And, and, and these bands were getting real close together. And if you watched, you know, my videos on, on how to read Bollinger Bands and what this means, you know, typically when these bands get this close together, it usually means it's about to rip. And sure enough, it did. It went all the way up over seven cents and just an amazing run. I, I, I don't know uh, how many stocks you see like this on a regular basis i for one don't see this all the time this is one of those things where it's just you know it's an absolute zip code changer uh, you know if you've been in this thing since the beginning kudos to you so awesome and a lot of us got into it yesterday and have just been continuing to ride this wave been amazing and so why has it continued to to do the things it's been doing uh today uh it's because of this and let me go ahead and show you you know I, I shouted this out after market close uh, on uh, yesterday um, that, and that would be the the 17th it was Tuesday and so um, let me go here uh, and show you so this uh, is the Secretary of State basically what happened was they announced a name change of the company and so they also announced that they were cutting um, 500 million uh, of authorized shares so that you know basically it gives everybody a bigger piece of the pie uh, um, how did I find that again uh, I, this is one of those tools that I always go to that I always tell you guys to go to and this is an iHub uh, I'm not gonna go into a whole lot of you know details as far as iHub and all that because because I've gone into it a million times already um, just go back and watch some of my other videos and you'll see uh, why I use iHub um, or InvestorsHub.com. Uh, so basically this is the feed for FRFS. If, you sc if I scroll up here you can see you know, basically just giving you some description of the company, blah, blah, blah. Um, and there's all kinds of people down here that will, will chat. Now I don't pay attention to a lot of what people say down here because a lot of it's just kind of BS. But what I do pay attention to is the due diligence that's been done by others that allows me to, it gives me the opportunity to go up go ahead and back up their DD you know their due diligence so a lot of that gets posted up here and so then I went in and I saw that GIFA um, you know is, is appearing to, re to do a reverse merge into Firefish which is FRFS. So basically, we're just going to do a name change. GIFA 
is a merger deal. Awesome. And so here's what backs that up. This is the um, state of Nevada, uh, their website. And uh, this is the Secretary of State's uh, reportings on uh, this particular stock that tells me, yes, the name change is going through. This just confirms all of the DD that I uh, witnessed here in Investor Sub. So this told me, you know, that this stock is still going to continue to rip. Uh, the CEO clearly knows what he's doing. He knows how, you know, the stock market works. And he's just been putting out news after news since the reinstatement of this company and it's just been a freaking monster i mean it went from double zero one all the way up over seven cents today so in two day, two days two trading days and i can show you here uh let's see here Let me, i'm gonna bring this out hopefully it, there we go and bring this out and you can see i mean it started Started way down in the double zeros, and then just it's just continually, continually been giving. Uh, I don't know if this is done yet. Uh, we're gonna just have to wait and see. I have reason to believe that it's not. It's gonna continue to go up. This kind of reminds me a little bit. If you go back and look into the uh, the, stick, the ticker symbol uh, OWPS, and um, it just that was one that went from the triple zeros all the way up to over two dollars. I'm not saying that's exactly what this is going to do, but it just reminds me an awful lot like it. I really feel like this is going to be something special. So uh, there you have it. I just kind of wanted to bring this to your attention a little bit. Uh, it's just something to really get excited over. Kind of show you how I came to the conclusion that this was going to continue the rip uh, today and, and just continue to skyrocket. A lot of us within the TechBud Solutions team uh, you know, within our chat group, we're able to see, you know, th that you know, there was just nothing but consolidation going on around lunchtime today. And that's why those Bollinger bands were, were just squeezing in right here. Low, no volume. You know, lunchtime really is a thing in stock market. And so a lot of people were just kind of rolling out uh, at lunch. And then right at one o'clock, I mean, look at this 1255 here. You can see the volume started to pick in, pick up and just boom. I mean, just awesome. And it just continued to really have a strong close. If you're still hanging in this, uh, uh, good on you. You know, it, it's it's still held, held in there. And I really think that this thing is far from over. Um, and that's just my opinion. Again, I'm not telling you what to do. It's just something that I have seen uh, in my own experience. And I think that this is just going to continue to make waves as it has in the last two days. That's all I got for you guys today. Uh, if you like this video, please leave a comment down below. Also, please uh, be sure to like and subscribe uh, to my channel if you learned something. Uh, I have plenty of other videos that you can explore. I would highly encourage you to join our chat group uh, if uh, you love to trade OTCs, if it's something that you're looking to get into. We have uh, plenty of um, folks that are new and old um, have been in it a while or just learning and uh, everybody is a well it's a welcoming group and it's really uh, an awesome place to be if you're looking to trade ATCs. that's all I got for you guys tonight thanks for tuning in and B Smith is out <laughs>